The inequality of wealth uh, it affects our society in many ways. In one way, it, it affects the government. And so instead of having a democracy, which means that the people are in control, we have a plutocracy, which means that the wealthy are in control. So when you have that kind of a situation and where they're dominating the politics with their money and with the, the Republican Party especially, uh, appeals to these people and it gives them tax cuts, it gives the corporations subsidies and, and then it's corporation, uh, low taxes for the corporations. And all these things are, are stealing money basically from the middle class and from the poor. And so you have a situation where uh, there's not enough jobs, uh, people are struggling to get by all the time, and yet uh, the economy seems to be okay because these rich people are doing so well that the stock market looks like it's good. Although actually the stock market is getting, getting a little jittery lately and, and we could have another financial crash. And so what they did was, because it was a Republican still administration, they bailed out the rich people first. And instead of the homeowners, we could have bailed out the homeowners and, they, and let them pay it back to the government also. And then they wouldn't have lost their homes. The bankers and the, all these greedy and the hedge funds and all these people that were making money off all these financial transactions. And these people are becoming billionaires and they're, and they're sucking this money out of the economy. And they're, and they're taking it from all the rest of the video economy. And it's just not fair. So I'm for a prog more progressive income taxes, higher corporate taxes, higher estate taxes. And, and this is prog progressive income taxes, where the, the more you make or the more you, uh, a corporation uh, makes, the higher uh, rate that they have to pay in taxes. So this is just giving money to the rich because they control the Congress. They can still get rich. They, they have met much more than they need. I mean, the, even the, the taxes that I recommend leaves these people with some very substantial incomes and wealth. Part of our problem is we have this huge debt, which is now nearly $22 trillion, our national debt. And the interest on this is more than $1.4 billion per day that we're paying, just interest. And this interest is going to the rich people. Well, my point is these rich people sucked it out of the economy unfairly. We should tax them to get it back to pay off the debt. This is not communism. This is still democracy. It's still a modified capitalism. It's a mixed economy. But it means that these people need to share. And it's corporations. I mean, Amazon, a trillion dollar corporation, and yet they've given a deal for putting a factory in, in the New York area. You know, as if they needed it, you know, a few more billion dollars. It's, it's absurd. That, that is corporate welfare or corporate graft. It, it's, it's corrupt. It's corruption.